frankly, the reason why I quit doing laparoscopic NISNs, and, and I was a victim of this because I came out of residence in 1998 as a fully trained advanced laparoscopic surgeon ready to do lap Nissen. So that was going to be my career. And, and that was the year that Nissen's took a nosedive. Nobody was referring this, and that's because of all the side effects, the bloating, the dysphagia, the gassing. It's what we call the Nissen bloating syndrome. One of the reasons I started doing this procedure was the initial paper showing that none of that was happening. And I think even in, uh, I think it was the registry, there was a negative correlation, meaning people with bloating and gassiness actually improved rather than got worse. And that's really the reason why we stopped doing surgical repairs for a reflux disease. Medicines came out at the same period of time. They, they at least controlled the symptoms. They may not be controlling the reflux, but they were controlling the symptoms. And that was good enough at that time to say, well, we shouldn't be subjecting people to a procedure that has so many side effects that we don't have a solution to. And when transoral phenoplication came around, solve that problem. And people ask me, why do I do the laparoscopic how to repair and not just go ahead and do the Nissen? That's the very reason. Because I recognize that the reason we quit doing Nissen's wasn't that it was, was not effective. It's very effective. It's that the side effect profile was too much for the public to tolerate. 